Yeah. Are you are you filming, bro? I'm, I'm, yeah. Hey, you know these guys? Yeah, they think that they're the most knowledgeable guys in Christianity. We are. Not, you know. No, you're not. We are. You're not. You're not a scholar. We are. You're not a scholar. Do you believe Jesus yeah. is God? Do you want to debate me? Do you think yeah. Jesus is God? Do you like to debate me? So ask one question. No, 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 is Jesus God? No, no. Yes. Okay. Can I ask you a question now? No, you can't. Right, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, go back. <laughs> no, you can't ask me no <laughs> question. Thank, Thank, Thank you. So, uh, you know why? You know why? A man didn't come here to have a debate with him. I came to tell him that you're not knowledgeable. Okay. And because you think Jesus is God, okay. that's stuff for long. That's free from God. Yeah, yeah Allah is Satan. So that's a... So he's given us a good background yeah, because right. he said Jesus is not he just God. Wants to be on and I hope that you've uh, put that up because he just anyone that says Jesus is not God is the spirit of the Antichrist. No, just which is already. Yeah. So yeah. That's that what, guy's a lunatic. You see the way he's been behaving on um, camera? He's been stalking us all day when we're is preaching. It? He's and a this lunatic. is why yeah. I, I've been. Because I actually come here to preach the gospel yeah. with. Uh, he's with just become it. Muslim, you know. Look at the state of him. He's just <laughs> become Muslim. Look at the state of him. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, brother Yakub, Ed Hudson. Um, today Regents. we're going to just cut straight to the chase. Mm. We're not going to waste the audience time. I've learned that um, Soko Films has a lot of um, followers in the Arab world, and some of you are Muslims. And we have to let you understand this critical, important information that the God you call Allah is not God. It has nothing to do with God. It in our Bible. It is clear, clearly stated that Allah is Satan. Simple. That is how we will start with this. Beloved, believe not every spirit, right? Yes. But try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know we the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has not come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now it is already in the world. If you look yeah. at Quran 9.30, it actually yeah. denies that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Messiah. Mm -hmm. The Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah, the yeah. Christians yeah. say uh, Jesus is the son of Allah. That's right. That is the words of their mouth, may Allah destroy yes. them. So now the Muslims will say, we don't believe in the Bible, it's false. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to go into are the Hadiths. Sahih Muslim 2114 book 37 hadith 159 Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger saying the bell is the musical instrument of Satan right okay so what do you get from that hadith the bell is a musical instrument of Satan yes I it think that's yeah it sounds like it's attacking music and giving the origins of music to well I'll give you another right. hadith right and this is um, Sunan Abi Dawood 2556 the bell is a musical wind, mu wind musical instrument of Satan. So what does that say? So it's saying that the musical instrument, a bell, belongs to Satan. Okay, so... I don't know exactly what the context is. That is the context. Yeah, right. Okay, this is narrated by Aisha, and this is um, Sahir Bukhari, book 1, Hadith 2. Al-Harith bin Hisham asked Allah's messenger, How is the divine inspiration revealed to you? Allah's messenger replied, Sometimes it is revealed as the ringing of a bell. This form of inspiration is the hardest of them all. And then this state passes off after I have grasped what is inspired. Sometimes the angel comes in the form of a man and talks to me. I grasp whatever he says. I shall reply. Verily I saw the prophet being inspired divinely on a very cold day and noticed sweat dropping from his forehead. This is Muhammad's revelation. It comes in the sign of a bell. Mm -hmm. Now, what did we hear in the first two accounts? What the bell is? Instrument of Satan. Okay. Now, how does Allah send this revelation? This is the final point. This is um, Sunan Abi Dawood 4738. When Allah the Exalted speaks to send revelation, the inhabitants of heaven hear the clanging of a bell from the heavens, like a chain being dragged across a rock and they swoon, they continue to remain like this until Jibril comes to them. When he comes to them, they recover and say, Oh Jibril, what did your Lord say? He would say, the truth, and they would say, the truth, the truth. Yes. That is 
first of all point of call using the Islamic reference mm. of the Hadith mm. to show Allah as Satan um, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the fourth prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever okay so the devil deceived them mm. but um, yes. we looking at the mm. um, Quran 354 yes. 830 Maka. says Al Makkah mm. is the great of all deceivers yes. Yes. now can you go to um, 8 uh, Matthew chapter 8 verse 44 if I'm correct sorry Ch John chapter 8, 44 you are of your father the devil Jesus speaking and the last of your father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaks a lie he speaks of his own for he's a liar and the father of it okay so he's a liar and the father of it and Allah is the greatest of all deceivers mm -hmm. sticks so that is one of the reasons mm -hmm. why we do not believe that Allah can be God. Now the Quran also says Allah is the Lord of the worlds in mm. Quran 1037. Mm. Mm. Can you go to Corinthians, yes. 2nd Corinthians, sorry, mm. chapter 4, 3 to 4. Mm. So I repeat again, Quran yeah. 1037 yeah. says Allah yeah. is the Lord of the worlds, worlds, because there's seven worlds Second under the Islam. Corinthians. Chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world has blinded the mind of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Okay, so who is the God of this world? Satan. Satan. So this is something I'd like to show you Christians. There are seven earths here. Right. And this is a sky dome, which is in a Hadith. Um, and then these are the seven heavens. And I, I think there's Moses at one, Jesus at another. This is what the Muslims actually, this is the description and this is the throne of Allah. Right. And five times a day Allah comes to the lowest heaven. Um, right. This is something you can find online. Mm. So when they say Allah is the Lord of the worlds, yeah. remember it's the plural worlds. Yeah. More than one. It's the seven, it's the seven, oh, the seven levels. Yeah, seven levels. And yeah. you can get this uh, corresponding with the tafsir. Yeah. And it said, it is Allah who created the seven heavens and earths as many, which is surah, 65 um, what image 12. is that just one that's the malik strip right what uh, image is that who, who? Uh, this is an image uh, right. uh, online where somebody okay. tried right. to okay. get right. the description yeah, so sure. that is the uh, mm. world so, so the you cannot level. believe in this nonsense yeah, this is crazy level. stuff yeah. um, there's not the um look at nasa if you don't believe me yeah. one of the 99 names of allah is the most proud yeah. i'd like you to go to isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 to 15. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou run down to the ground, which did waken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. That it, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So please, Brother Hudson, can you give me more clarification? Like when Allah says he's the most proud, yeah, yeah. who was cast out of heaven because of his pride? Lucifer. Lucifer. For pride, yeah. For this reason that we've seen here. Basically, he set his sight quite simply and taking over God's position. And he set you his throne. You can't get more proud than that, can you? No. When you want to become God himself, your, your creator. When the creation wants to become the creator. Okay, and another of the names of Allah is Al-Mumit, the destroyer. And this is in Quran 3, Chapter 3 verses 156, chapter 7 verses 158, mm. chapter 15 verse 23 and chapter 57 verse 2. Now Satan is a destroyer. If we go to 1 Corinthians 10 verse 10. Yes, neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. So the destroyer in that case, how would we look at uh, what the destroyer is? Well, once again, Satan, because in St. John, um, it says um, Satan comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. So it's one of his attributes. Allah said he's the most high. Now, the Lord God in our Bible says he's the almighty. Now, in Quran chapter 8, verse 12, and this is one Muslim that I was talking in the park. He was saying, that, show us in the Quran where it says behead our Muslims and um, right. I will convert to Christianity. And I hope to catch the guy, but oh, he wasn't right, here yeah, today. Right, well, Quran 8, 12. This is what Allah says, I am with you, therefore make firm those who believe. I will cast terror yes. into their hearts That's right. of those who disbelieve. Yeah. Therefore strike off their heads right. and strike off every fingertip of them. Now, we got to look, 
Who causes terror yeah. in the biblical aspect? We can look at John chapter 8 verse 44. Yes. Because it says you belong to your father the, who yeah. was a murderer. That's right, from the beginning. Yeah. So we can say that um, when you cast terror, yes. um, and Allah's apostle said it in um, yes. Sahih Bukhari yes. as well, Hadith 452, Allah's apostle said I've been made victorious by terror. Mm. Terror is the tactic of yes. Satan. Yes. And John's Another related word like destroyer. If you destroy, destroy something or destroy someone, that brings terror. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. That's and right. who was that saying that he would have life? Jesus. Jesus. But well, well, who give. was coming as the thief to oh, destroy? Oh, Satan. Okay, the so, devil, the dragon. so now I'm going to read Quran 9.29. Fight against those who believe not in Allah or the last day. Yes. Or forbid what is forbid, or forbid that which has been forbidden by mm. Allah. And those who acknowledge not the religion of truth, that mm. is supposed to be Islam, which is a religion of falsehood That's and right. lies, among the people of the scripture. That right. means the Jews and the Christians until they pay the jizya. So what did you say in John? What was it? To steal and to kill? The thief come to steal and to kill and to destroy. So what would you call jizya? Is that a thief? Is that stealing, taking covetness, thou shalt not covet? Yes. Taking what's not yours? It absolutely is. And, uh, and it, it, fighting? It absolutely is. And fighting is what? It absolutely is. And what is fighting? Um, when he says they fight to kill, do, do jihad. Yes. That is killing. Yes. Yeah, thou shalt not and kill. And I mean, the basis is even killing them for not believing. So yeah. it's not. It's interesting that they always say that, isn't it? It's I'm, attacking them for not believing in Allah. There you go. And we see Muslims getting yes. upset because right. um, we're exposing their yes. religion. But yes. the, that shows you that we're doing the right work. May That's glory right. have to Jesus because Amen. he will bring the victory. We brought out a lot of passages to mm -hmm. show the type of activities yes. that the evil one, yes. Satan, the yes. dragon, yes. Lucifer, yes. Um, what other titles has he got? Mm. The destroyer, destroyer deceiver, the proud, deceiver, proud. the most proud, want to be the most high, the, the want to be. Now those titles are given to Allah yes. and <laughs> unfortunately now we started this off with the Hadith talking mm. about the bell so mm. the sounds of Allah yes. according to the Muslims itself yes. actually correspond with Satan yes. now the Iblis of the Quran is actually the hero of the Islam yes. because he refused to obey Allah yes. uh, by uh, <laughs> worshipping um, that's um, that, Adam, Adam. That's right. Adam. Yes. but Allah bows to Muhammad uh, which is the biggest point of idolatry thou shalt not have any God before thee that was the first commandment and Muslims break that by um, so we can actually conclude this with Exodus 20 I would say mm. and the commandments and show where your religion breaks all the commandments of yes. God and this is the foolproof attitude yes. that shows that your religion is false that you have nothing to do with God because one thing Satan does do as we saw in Revelation chapter 12 verse 17 is that Satan goes against those that keeps the commandments of God yes. And we'll read the commandments in order and we'll do this in quick se yes. sex, uh, succession. Uh, Exodus chapter 20 verse 3, Thou shalt have no other gods before thee. Yes. Now the Sunnah, what, yes. what is the Sunnah? Do yes. you know what the Sunnah is? A, a biography of Muhammad. Yes. Muslims follow Muhammad's teachings. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So when you read, Thou shalt right. have no yes. other gods before yes. me, they're putting Muhammad before yes. God. Yes. They're worshipping a yes. man. Yes. And we know that Allah worships Muhammad yes. because uh, Muhammad hijab in the um, uh, debate yes. against David yes. Wood said Allah prays for Muhammad. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, but also interestingly enough as well, even Allah Himself, because when He says, "Thou shalt have another God before Me," mm. it means a God of Israel. There it means go. Yahweh. Yes, and not yes. Allah. There you go. So you've proved yes. that yes. Allah is a false god. Yes. If you look at the satanic verses and read the tafsir, which Muslims don't like to touch, mm. it says that Allah was an idol next to Hubal. So it's another idol next to Hubal mm. and. Al Manat and Al Uzza. Yes. And any of you that don't know, the actual God of Islam is La. It is not Allah. Yeah, la, it's la, la. la. So God La. la, la, la. Yeah. God Manat. Yes. God Al yes. the God. Uzza. Yeah. Yeah. So Which is we'll God. unidentifiable. Yes. So thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven or that is in the earth beneath. This is the second commandment. Now, do you know what the Kaaba is? That's the stone in it. No, the car, sorry, the building. Oh, the, oh, the, oh the, where they had the idols. Do you know what it's supposed to be? No. Yes. The car is supposed to be the throne of Allah in Jannah. Okay. And all the angels right, go about okay. it seven right. times. Yes. What does the second commandment say? Thou shalt not have any graven image of anything yes. likeness in heaven. Right. So if Allah has told them, yes. that means mm. Allah is not our God. Mm. Because our God said, do not have his throne in heaven made or anything 
made of any inst um, thing in heaven mm. above or the other row. So they have an image of um, the Kaaba being that building. Mm. Now also the image of the stone is supposed to be the right hand of Allah. Yes. So that is also another graven yes. image. So that means your God Allah is breaking the laws of the real true God. Yes. So you are not worshipping the God we worship. Now let's go to the next commandment. And I always use the commandments mm. as a way to prove your religion. Thou shalt not bow down on thyself. They bow to the Kaaba mm. and they kiss it. You're not supposed to bow to it. Now thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Now when Muslims get the halal mood, they scream Allah Akbar mm. and kill the animal. Yeah, yeah. Thou shalt not use the Lord thy God's name in vain. Mm. When they slay people for right showing um, a comic about Muhammad yeah, or anything, yeah. they scream a God's name. Yeah. That is breaking another commandment. So, so far Muslims, your religion is breaking all the commandments. We haven't even seen Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You do not observe the Sabbath. Mm. Forget that. So you've broken so far five out of the ten commandments <laughs> with your religion. <laughs> so this is certainly not of God. Um, let's go to the next commandment. Honour thy father and thy mother that the days on the on be on your land, upon your land mm. which the Lord has given you. Now, do they honour their father and their mother? Let's see what their prophet did. Mm. Did he honour his father? He said his, his mother and father probably went to hell. Oh, and right, guess yeah, what? Yeah, His dad was called Abdullah, slave yeah. of Allah. Yes, so if he's a slave of Allah, how is he honouring his parents? Mm. It doesn't add up. You've got to ask yourself this. So Muhammad broke that commandment. Can't say all Muslims mm. break the don't honour their parents. I know a lot of my Muslim friends that treat their parents with utmost mm. respect. So I won't say Muslims, but your religion as a core yes, doctrine right. from that's the Prophet. Islam. And the Prophet has mm. broken all these commandments mm. so far by the teachings he has given you, mm. which are false. Mm. And the next commandment is, thou shalt not kill, jihad. Mm. Um, yes. Is that killing? Yes, only uh, more. Um, what else is thou shalt not kill? Um, if you behead 800 people yes. on a day, yeah, well, of course, yes. And all the war, all, all the war yeah. that Muhammad had. 67 out. Um, raids on, so um, booties, yes. Um, yes, on caravans. And just individuals as well being yes. killed for insulting his religion or insulting Islam. Yes. Just individuals. I, I'm not yes. going to go into the modern mm. ISIS mm. style no, stuff no, because I always uh, refrain yeah. from politics. Yeah. So I'm, I'm here to do the theological, mm. um, the religious aspect of mm. what we believe in mm. spiritual worship. Mm. So we, um, Islam breaks the thou shall not kill. And also, thou shalt not kill means being angry with your brother. Yes, yes. And when they pray five times a day, Surah 1 verse mm. 7, they say they're angry with the Jews and, they, and the, right. the, the Christians. Don't, Allah, don't let us be like the Christians that you've led yes, astray. Right. If you look at the tafsir, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. something that yeah, I have sure. knowledge of. Yeah, yeah. And those that make us angry with the Jews, you cannot be angry with the Jews. They are your brothers. All men are my brothers. I'm not angry with Muslims. I love you Muslims. I'm angry with your religion that is sending you to the eternal damnation. That is why I am compelled to so talk to you and push on people like Shamsi. Look, guys, just embrace us. Hear what we have to say so that you can save yourself from eternal damnation. Mm. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Now, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Four wives, a harem. Mm. Uh, the Islamic Jannah, and not 72 about, and virgins. Not about the extra that's right. Yeah. Yeah, there you what, go. About, that's right. what about the in the Old Testament, why they were allowed to have seven wives? What did Jesus say about having more than one wife? This is why we live on the new covenant. Mm. Yeah. We're not talking about the, the Old Testament. Covenant. The new, we're in yeah. a new covenant. So Jesus said one, he God made Adam one and Eve one. That is why we have mm. one wife. I would like you to elaborate on the Islamic perspective because we're going over mm. how Islam breaks the Ten Commandments. But not only that as well, even when you find in like, you know, yeah, David and Solomon and people like that, that's not God endorsing it. You must make the distinction in between what somebody did in the Old Testament and whether God's endorsing it or not. Lots of things are going on in the Old Testament. Sleep with people, sleep with their brothers and sisters and blah, 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 and incest and this and that. Is God endorsing it? That's the question. No. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. What that, that, that's, that's, that's the difference. What we're saying is in Islam, this is all being endorsed. Everything that we're saying is yeah. being endorsed. It's actually Allah. a pinnacle I mean, of their religion. Yeah, that's what They're saying. allowed that's to have difference. four wives. This is a, Muhammad had um, 13 wives and uh, numerous mm. sex slaves. Yeah. There was some, um, when you have that as a doctrine, that is actually anti-God. Yeah, yeah. That is a going against the commandment. And we're saying we're on the um, seventh commandment now and they've broken all. Mm. Now, when you say commit adultery, sleeping with your, um, your son-in-law's... Yes, because he married wife. his son's wife, didn't he? There you go. Yes. 
divorce. Yeah, 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 divorce. divorce and they married her. If yeah. you marry a divorced woman, the Bible tells us that is adultery. But not only that, it said that Allah wanted it that way. This is there you saying. go. Whereas no, when this you is see what I wanted in, um, you to um, Solomon having 700 wives, it doesn't say nothing about God. Did do, just God tell him to Sol do that? Solomon had yeah, 700 wives. Him, didn't no, 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 not for having 700 wives. No, where? No, no, no. Why did he have all that power? No, he didn't bless him for having 700 wives. He blessed him for different reasons, you know what I'm saying, specifically. Yeah, but he still blessed him, didn't he? But not for 700 wives. Mm. He blessed lots of people that sinned for different reasons. Yeah. Not for the sin, for different reasons. I remember when Prophet David yeah. had, um, had that affair and killed that woman's yeah. husband. What happened to David? He lost his kingdom. Mm. He was in the wilderness. Yes, he wrote um, the Psalms. Um, Uzziah. Uzziah. Yeah. Uzziah's wife. So the, God does not like adultery. And we have to. And show, he repented. And David he repented well. in the end, David. That's when. And um, another important thing is that what we've covered so far is seven commandments, mm. and Islam as a doctrine mm. breaks these commandments in totalitarian mm. way. Now, what's the other? Thou shalt not steal. So now the jizya. Mm. What is the jizya tax? Oh, that's the um, yeah the, that they levied from the um, Christian. Unbelievers. Yeah. Right? Unbelievers. Unbelievers. Yes. Unbelievers. Yes. Unbelievers. Now, for those yeah, of you, I'm from the Saharan part mm. of Africa where yeah. Christians are minority. Yeah. Muslims feel they can cheat you to buy goods. Right. Like uh, if you wanted to sell cattle to a Muslim, oh, right. they feel they can cheat you because you're okay. a Christian. Oh, right. So the Christians are tough where we're from because yeah. we don't like to be exploited. Yeah. You, they can't do that in the West. They can't bully you yeah. guys because yeah. of the traditions. Yeah. But if you go to a place where Christians are minorities, like in Egypt, Egypt, yes. You see them being the lower caste. Yeah, of course. That is what is done. And you see them being extortion. People can go to a shop and take things. And this is why we as Christians, we should be wary of what Christians go on in Egypt and the Middle mm. East. Mm. You do not know the extent of the gangsterism that Islam has brought. And the yeah. only reason that, that, that it doesn't happen over here is because there are a low percentage. Mm. No, and, it's, and it's the laws of the UK. The British law actually keeps a testament to ensure that um, it cannot, um, you yeah. know, yeah, the law, it's yeah, against the, the, the law. laws of the land. The laws yeah, of the yeah, land. Yeah, um, ensure uh, that it, it so go thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, mm. Takia. Yes. Um, yeah, which yeah. is practice here live every week. Live every week. Yeah. Live Takia. Where we can talk to um, yeah. Shamsi yeah. that said, oh, Christian Prince, yeah. you used to be a Muslim. I'm going to call you. We'll debate. Mm. Then you change and do a full circle. Yeah. And you do that in front, not knowing that you filmed already. And that's on camera. And it's and, on and camera. He, he's been told it's on camera. Yeah. And he's still Muhammad Ijab. Um, uh, Muhammad Ijab goes against mm. um, David Wood yeah. and says that David Wood. David Wood says Allah prays for yeah. Muhammad. And then, then you go and say, and look at David Wood. You liar. You said something else. But you actually repeat yes. what David Wood said. Making it. He repeated he, what he, he said, making it sound like he didn't actually say. Yeah. Oh yeah, he said he prays too. Yeah. Thank you very much yeah. for the clarification, yeah. so that we didn't yeah. use the wrong word. Yeah. So Muhammad Jijaf said, um, he said elsewhere that he yeah. prayed too, and then it changed. And so the evidence is there, but that won't bother them because the evidence is there that he, he, was, he created a strawman argument saying that David Wood didn't say something in order to knock it. That's what you call a strawman argument. Yes. Even though he said what he said, he said you didn't say it and then condemned him on what he, saying he didn't say what he did actually say. Yes. And what I'm saying is the evidence is there now, but will he come forward and say no? Because that's Takia. Takia allows for him to, you know, make that blatant lie and not even address it. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Thou shalt not steal as well. Uh, I will come into that, but yeah. um, the last one we said, thou shalt not bear false witness. So mm. we see the Takia tactics, mm. um, when people can look you in the eye or look away like Shamsi did with me, mm. refuse to look me in the eyes. I probably disgusted him with my amicable ways, uh. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I probably, I should have had a heartbeat. Next time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy the hippies, I'm going to put a flower on my chest. Uh, probably that will be softer okay, attitudes or, or, or hold a rose or something. I don't know how to approach them, but uh, it's not working whatever I'm doing now. <laughs> the, love's uh, working. the love's not working, so i got to display myself right. in a different character. Um, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Mm. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Yeah. Uh, this is what I really want you to... So let's say, uh, thou shalt not covet... The, this is all under the 10th commandment. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Mm. Thou shalt not covet... Uh, covet, sorry, mm -hmm. nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Mm -hmm. So what is covet, sir? To take something or desire something that doesn't belong to you. I like that right. word, desire. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have a Ferrari, my brother yes. over there in Christ, Can I have and I went, wow, I love your Ferrari, <laughs> I want that. That is covet, yes. that's a sin. That's right. yes. in the and then you focus on it, and then, you know, 
So those caravan yeah. raids by the yeah. Prophet Muhammad yes. converted us. Yeah. Converted yes, us. yes, because yeah. after he won, he stole stuff. Quite yeah, he stole you stuff. Know, yeah. he, and all, he was he, also yeah, accused yeah. of stealing yeah. shoes and underwear. Yes. Um, <laughs> red <laughs> underwear, yes. <laughs> Muhammad, <laughs> yeah, he stole shoes. And, he, and the Jews, when they, when they raided the Jewish yeah. camp, he stole, he was accused by followers of stealing underwear. Probably when he put it yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a so-called prophet. And this is why you Muslims should sit down with me because I will make ridicule your false prophet. Because I'm not afraid and I and it's time for people to know that this man was a degenerate. He stole, he took and we'll go into what else he coveted. His um his well, own, his son's wife. His son's you know? wife, his adopted son's wife. I mean other people's wives as well. Uh, remember after remember the oh, commission to after slavery the, the those who your right hand possessed? These were married women. Who, so after you conquered, you could basically. So what is Allah? You, Allah's you teaching like, covetousness. Yes. Yes. To covet. It taught. How, so how how is God somehow given us the Ten Commandments mm. and somehow gone a U-turn? Mm. And is that possible? And isn't it interesting? No. And isn't it interesting that none of them are mentioned in the Quran? The Ten Commandments are completely absent. And this is what I like about happened. the fantastic Quran. Because <laughs> the Quran talks about Moses receiving the tablets of the law. Yes. But how many laws were received by <laughs> Moses? Uh, I, mm. Christian Prince said something that made me laugh. He said, "Did he need a, a pickup truck to yeah. pick up all the tablets?" So, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. so this is a Christian Prince joke. Right, right. Yes, the Quran can talk about the ants mm. and yeah. the uh, Shamsi's flying carpet. We go there yeah. again. Um, the Quran can talk about the valley of the ants and the ants having a conversation. Hoopy birds are looking for women with hairless legs. But it cannot mention the Ten Commandments mm. of God in the <laughs> eternal word. That's a serious yeah, oversight, that, isn't it? That's a serious that's a, oversight. Yeah, that's, 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 no. that's a serious so we, oversight, yeah. That's a serious the oversight. The Quran could talk about having Everything sex else. slaves, uh, sleeping with underage girls. Yeah. Um, what else does the Quran it's talk about? It's not yes. befitting. But, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah the sun right. sets in the pool of mud, the flat earth in more than seven yeah. surahs. Um, um, the seven earths that we've shown already. Yeah. Uh, in Surah 65 verse 12, the seven heavens And it also talked about, I mean even though that's Hadith But still, yes. it is Hadith anyway, it talks about the um, mountains have been placed on the earth as ten pegs But nowhere so, does it have yeah. the is ten... It yeah. There you go Yeah, <laughs> there you go Could you say that, that, that Allah coveted, uh, coveted the law and then he created his Sharia? Oh, there you go <laughs> Now, we, Allah coveted the law yeah. So Allah even breaks the commandments yeah. Allah, <laughs> never, never <laughs> mind Allah. This is a <laughs> Wow, you know sometimes you need to listen to the audience yeah, You try and serve absolutely. Because the audience will see things that we don't even yeah. come across Well, Allah has actually taken the glory for himself <laughs> The most proud yes. Which we said most Satan yes. This is why Allah in his throne Has made you make the Kaaba because Allah is Satan, as we said, and he's made the Kaaba in heaven, breaking the second commandment of God. Allah has made you worship his false prophet, Muhammad, where you actually go and toilet and wipe your backside <laughs> like the false prophet wow. because you're yeah. following Muhammad to wow. the T. That you take a left leg yeah, in wow. and left leg out of the to bathroom following a man. Yeah, you are worshiping a man over God. You are breaking the first commandment of the Lord. When, yes, when you're washing yourself and doing ablution, thinking that water is going to mm. kill smokeless, fireless jin, wake up, brothers. Yeah, what's that bit? Explain Ooh, that yeah. bit. What's the approach to Muhammad in the prayer? How does it work? They ask yeah. Muhammad yeah. to pray for them. No, no. Right. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, ask go on. Muhammad to pray for At the start them. of the prayer, right? At the start of the prayer, yes. they said, We ask you, Muhammad. old prophet, to pray for them. Wow. Yes. And that's the start of every. Wow, there you go. That's uh, the start of all the prayers, isn't it? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So coming I mean, that's, that's clearly they're clearly not so so it's in the interesting even though they you know they scream and shout saying that he's nothing but a prophet but the actions by the fruits you shall know them but even though they remember, say Muhammad is just a man if you, but yeah, you know um, Charlie Hebo they yeah. made a cartoon on yeah. and this is the only politics I'll go into but for the point mm. they killed them for blaspheming Muhammad yes but how can you blaspheme a human that's right, being it doesn't make no sense it doesn't make sense so they say with yeah. their mouth that he's only a man and we don't want no him, but they the worship. Allah worship, it prays for Muhammad. And this is what Muhammad Hijab made the big mistake yes. of doing yeah. in his cockiness. Pride yeah. comes before downfall. Right. Pride is of Satan. Yeah. And we try to show that Allah being the most proud is actually Satan. And their actions show Muslims need to come to um, a kind of self search mm. and look at the Ten Commandments, which have been the pinnacle of our faith. Um, Jesus made the Ten Commandments into two love thy neighbor as thyself. And um, the other one is love the Lord with all thy heart, with all thy might, and all thy strength. Yes. And the and under these 
two commandments for the ten. So regardless of what you, um, when it says love thy neighbor as thyself, it doesn't mean I'm going to hug brother. No, no. Yes, no. it means thou shalt, um, thou shalt not kill, mm. thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, etc. Muhammad broke all those laws when he killed people, take the jizya, did the 67 caravan raids or more than that. Mm. When he was sleeping with women or imagining having sex with them, it is all wrong. Now, all these things are going to lead you to an eternal time damnation. So how do you think we should conclude knowing that Allah has proven not to be God mm. by breaking the commandments of the true God, um, falsifying, bearing false witness in the whole Quran, which is a whole lie. Mm. Uh, I think you should talk about the angel of light, mm. um, which will come and bring the false gospel in Galatians. Yeah, yeah. I marvel not that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, just in case you didn't hear it the first time, so Thank I God. say now, again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached, let him be accursed. Okay, and That's this is how we conclude it. Mm. Um, so an angel, Jibril, 600 yes, wings, yes, yes. that came as, the, uh, as Muhammad's boyfriend, Dan da Il Kirby or something. Mm. Mm. Um, he had the image of a man mm. that was supposed to be the Spirit of God, which is another blasphemy, a blasphemy mm. against mm. the Holy Spirit, mm. which Islam is causing you to commit great blasphemy before our Lord. Mm. Now that angel brought a new gospel, yes, totally new gospel. contradictory yes. to the account of the yes. 40 prophets over yes. a couple of thousand yes. years. And on top of that, this is where the NIV translation comes into importance because Muslims try to say which Bible as, a, as if they're taking us for idiots that we don't know how to be a period. Now if you read the NIV you'll say let him be under God's curse. Yes. And this is why it's important to yes. look at the different translations of the right. Bible to have a better right. understanding of the message of the Bible. So it tells you clearly that if you're preaching another gospel you're going to be under God's curse. <laughs> Muslims need to wake up, read the New Testament and compare it to your Islamic narrative and you will clearly see that Allah has made you break the commandments of God. You testify that Jesus is not Lord, being Antichrist, which we read in 1 John chapter mm. 4. Mm. Allah has shown that he's the destroyer, the deceiver. He hates the King of Kings on Judgment Day. Mm. How much more evidence do we need to provide to show that Allah is not God, mm. but is Satan, masking as God, mm. because he's the most high, the proud, that yeah. wants to show off. Yeah. While our God is not the most high, our God is almighty, the Alpha and Omega, which we have And he showed. says that Satan, one thing, he says that Satan dis um, disguises himself as an angel of light, doesn't he? Yeah, funny enough you said that, and, I, and it's a shame I don't have the Hadith off hand, but um, Muhammad was accused that he, um, a woman, he was, he was sick, and I'll get this Hadith reference, hopefully to JC later on. Uh, and um, the woman said, um, Muhammad, your shaitan has deserted you mm. when Muhammad was sick. And the, and the uh, Muhammad said, no, my Satan, um, and Jibril came with the revelation. Mm. And in brackets is Jibril, my Satan has not deserted you, mm. but my Satan is with you. Mm. And that is a hadith that is very powerful. And unfortunately, I'm going to try and search for it in, while Brother Hudson gives uh, uh, a heads up. What do you uh, want to conclude? No, I'll say you given the conclusion. I'll try and find the Sadiq so that okay, the right, Muslims what, won't say, right. you liar. <laughs> well, the conclusion is we've looked at, we've done a kind of side by side comparison, Allah and God. And we've seen that, um, because I was saying previously that um, Islam came along for conflict and confusion and it did a good job. So take it from the beginning, in a nutshell, you know, the Bible says that the angel Gabriel sent to Mary and out of birth of Jesus, Islam says not so. And assumedly to Angel Gabriel, even though that's not mentioned. Bible said Jesus is the Son of God, Islam said not so. Bible says that Jesus is the only way to God, Islam said not so. Bible says that Jesus is the Son of God, Islam said not so. Bible says that Jesus is God in human form, Islam said not so. And all the key this and this and, and and this from the scriptures that says the Quran came to confirm the scripture that came before them. It did a very bad job. That's a very bad editing job. You know, starting off saying that we've come to confirm the previous scriptures and not doing so. Not only not doing so, but turning everything exactly on it. It's like an antithesis. You know, black becomes white, white becomes black. Man becomes a woman, woman becomes a man. Everything turns on its head and in all the key areas. So it's irreconcilable. You can't reconcile. You can't reconcile the Bible and the Quran. You can't reconcile the Christian faith 
and the Muslim faith. You can't reconcile Christians and Muslims on those do doctrinal um, theological issues. You just cannot. It's inconsistent. I couldn't find the Hadith off head, but I have it on my um, in my script. So yeah. I'm going to find it and yeah. I'll present so it yeah. to yeah. to yeah. JC, right. and he will give you actually in mm. in verbal format, mm. so that you will see it on screen, so mm. you know that I'm not lying. Exactly how the Hadith right. is. It will be an immediate image, and yeah. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll put it on the group. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And um, hopefully uh, mm. Bob will send it over to you. But yes, um, Muhammad. Um, unfortunately he was a false prophet whether he was deceived by Satan mm. or he chose to follow the lusts of his eyes and he chose to follow the um, vanities of life mm. um, what is it if a man gains the world and loses his own mm. soul um, you, Christians as brothers in Christ we try and tell you all of you of the audience please drop the scriptures for the Muslims counter this argument that Allah is the same God when they tell you that oh, Muslims in the Middle East, call, uh, Christians in the Middle East call God Allah. Yeah. No, Allah is Satan. There is no doubt about it. He breaks our Ten Commandments. Do not play this game because some people have taken a comfort zone, say, oh, we believe in one God. Mm. But uh, James right. says yeah, that uh, right. even the devils believe That's in right. one and God tremble. and tremble. That's right. So believing in one God, there's loads of pagans That's out there that the believe right in God. one God. Yeah. It's believing in the right, right God. That's right. And the God we believe in, Jesus is our Lord that came in flesh, the Word of God. And we know this because of the evidences that you related in yes. the last testimony we had. Yes. When the Ten Commandments were given to the Israelite nation, if you read the ending of chapter of Exodus, the whole Israelite nation heard the Lord from the sky. Mm. So it was a whole multitude of thousands of people. When Jesus was baptized, a voice from heaven said, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. Mm. There are many witnesses to both. Who is a witness to Allah? Even Muhammad never heard the voice of Allah. So there we go. Allah is a false God. And we hope and we thank you all for your time. And we hope that uh, people have been given knowledge to the true um, situation and away from falsehoods. And God bless. Try and, um, if you want to learn more about Islam, follow the Christian Prince channel yes. because he knows more than we would ever. Um, he's and compare scholar. the scriptures. That and compare the scriptures. Today. You can go uh, and rerun and, and compare the scriptures that we quoted today. Quran to, to, to Bible. Quran to Bible. Yeah. And for those of you who are too lazy to read, mm. uh, first epistle of John, uh, first, second and third is very quick, takes mm. 20 minutes. Mm. There's also audio books of the KJV online, so there's no excuse. One day you'll be before the Lord, That's Jesus right. will judge you, you'll bow before him. You can call him a prophet then, I pity you because he treads the wine press of the fury mm. of the Almighty God. That is the what um, waits the unbelievers. Um, those of you that are sinners call to repentance Amen. if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord Amen. and believe with your heart that the Lord has raised God has raised it from the dead you will be saved so we hope that you will find Christ uh, Christian Prince and Soko Films has been doing this showing Muslims that are actually seeing the light yes. that stop believing in the Sun yes. falling into a murky pool of water or women have breast he has a very funny way mm. of saying it sperm in the backbone mm. I don't know any woman with sperm probably um, Allah is a she male as well <laughs> uh, Baphomet as a you know it, Muslims engage your brain mm. um, engage your brains seriously because sometimes you've got to question Flatter theory, seven flatters, that, that is not of God. Um, NASA's debunked your prophet. Um, common sense has debunked your prophet. And the, um, we've debunked your prophet by even using the Bible's Ten Commandments. Mm. It, your God has been debunked by the Bible. And this Bible existed before the Quran. Um, God bless you all who take um, to righteousness. And those Muslim critics that I see, your arguments, calling us liars, um, why didn't Shamsi respond to any of our allegations today? Your teams are not responding to us. We've come in peace three times we tried. I can't be chasing them. I don't chase women that much. <laughs> so I'm not chasing a man because people might get a funny idea. Bless you. <laughs>